Hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar. Thanks a lot for having us on this uh, Sunday, almost evening. Uh, in this session, we are going to talk about how to become a realtor in BC. Today, I have the pleasure to uh, introduce Shirin Saleh, the CEO and manager of 88 West Realty. And uh, in this session, uh, we're, we're going to have some uh, polls. And I would appreciate if anyone could attend uh, and, you know, in this poll, so it would help us understand how we are going to proceed. I would keep it open for about a minute and uh, your participation really, really matters for us. Uh, if you can see, there are three questions. I'm just going to quickly review them. Choose the option that applies best to you. Uh, I've registered the course. I've submitted some of my assignments. I've booked for the exam. I even have passed the exam. And the second question is, have you ever worked as a salesperson in the past, I mean? And the last one is about your language proficiency. Which step are you in? Uh, I really, really appreciate if uh, anyone who can hear me and is attending, participate in our poll session. We will keep it open for a couple of, you know, uh, seconds. Thank you very much. I can see that uh, more and more people are responding. Thank you a lot. Also, uh, meanwhile, meanwhile uh, if you have any question during the presentation, I'd appreciate if you could uh, type it in the chat box. So at the end of the webinar, we are going to uh, go through them one by one before we can go. And also please keep your uh, microphones mute. So during the presentation. Okay, uh, let's finish the, I'm going to share the result as well with you. Okay, uh, about 92% of you guys uh, have not registered for it, the course. So it's, um, it's quite, you know, natural. One of them, uh, I can see that 8% is passed the exam. And uh, some of them, you have some sort of, you know, past experience when, when it comes to the sales. And also, uh, some of them have already passed the exam. Some of them are preparing about 50% of the, you guys have passed the exam. I'm, I hope that it would be a selfie. So it's not an IELTS exam. We will talk about it in the uh, upcoming uh, slides. Okay, that's for now. I'm going to quickly go through the agenda. We are talking about uh, trading, trading service licensing. It's a little different than you know property management licensing. Uh, we are going to talk about the prerequisites, prerequis the registration of the exam, and how we can proceed. The, uh, we will go briefly through the course and the assignments that you have to submit during the course about the language and in, then the thresholds that you need to uh, get. And we are going to talk about applied practice course, uh, about temporary and permanent license and how they are, you know, convert to each other. And in the, in, and we will continue about why AD address Realty could be a a uh, perfect choice for you to start your own business when it comes to uh, real estate. And we will talk about some special services where we are providing to our new agents like coaching, support, and teamwork, culture, and values, and how you could turn your dreams into reality. Uh, that's that's our, our ultimate goal as well. So uh, I would invite uh, Shirin Saleh to start her presentation. Thank you so much. I always forget to unmute myself. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for attending tonight's uh, event. Uh, this is going to be an amazing event. So uh, I guarantee you will leave the session with lots of information, the lots of uh, uh, up-to-date information, research-based information, and reliable uh, data that you need in order to decide whether to start your real estate uh, career or not. Now, but before I start my uh, my presentation, I would like to see how many non-Farsi speaking attendees do we have here? It seems that, Odil, are you um, 
a deal and there uh, there are two it seems that the majority of people are farsi so we can i don't know if without any disrespect we can switch into farsi okay Adil has replied there is a please text me if you do not speak uh, farsi or okay so yes meaning don't speak okay got it uh-huh okay yeah we will continue to english yeah sure definitely. sure we'll do in english no problem so i hope that the rest of the uh, the team will be the rest of the attendees will be okay with english um i personally prefer because the content is english uh now did i thank you for attending tonight's event thank you so much for attending it's it's really amazing that on sunday evening you're all here um my I can't move this now. I don't know what happened. Okay. Now, let's start to see who or what organization issues the licenses of uh, individuals in BC. It's the organization is called BCFSA, British Columbia Financial Services Authority. It's this organization is responsible for regu regulating all the licensees and also for issuing licenses for real estate uh, services for trading services and property management or even for the mortgage um, mortgage licenses so uh, and this is specific to uh province of bc now if in case god forbid in future once you get your license you do have any problem you do have any complaint from a consumer a customer a client then it goes directly to bcfsa and bcfsa will um, investigate the matter and it will, if it goes to uh, the investigation further, then that will be, you have to deal with BCFSA. We are extremely careful with BCFSA because so we have to follow their rules and regulations and then uh, constantly keep ourselves updated uh, about the new updates and rules of uh, mandated by BCFSA. Now, you want to become a realtor or you're thinking of becoming a realtor. And obviously Vancouver, BC, Canada, I would say is, um, Canada in general is hot. Real estate in Canada is very hot and, and it's constantly changes hands and as, like, as if it is a commodity. So for that reason, people are, many people are interested in dealing with real estate, any matter, any business that is related to real estate, and obviously um, working as a realtor, and then sometimes people think about the commissions, it makes it very attractive. Now, congratulations to all of you who have decided to become a realtor. Now, what are the prerequisites? What are the criteria that you have to meet in order to become a realtor? So if for, uh, you have to be 19 years old at the time that you're gonna uh, submit or your application for the license. So if you're 18 years old, you can start, uh, you can register for the course, you can take even take the exam. And then by the time that you want to uh, apply for your license, you have to be 19 years old. Then you have to have a good reputation. So if you have any past criminal record or any um, bad record, you, ha you, you have to discuss it with BCFSA again, and then to see if you can get any exemption from BCFSA. And then you have to be permanent resident, citizen of Canada, or open work permit also if they are allowed to apply for the license. So that's good news. Those who are in Canada with work permit, they can apply. And then, of course, English language proficiency. Those whose English is not their first language, they have to pass the exam for English language proficiency. We'll talk about these things, every one of these in detail. And you have to pass the license exam, that's obvious, and then complete the applied practice course. Again, that's obvious. And then until you are able and then uh, to apply for a license, as well as you, you should join a brokerage. Now, here's the, the catch. It, BCFSA does not allow any realtor to work on its own. So all the licensees, they have to join a real estate company. They have to join like AD West Realty, a brokerage, a company. They have to work under the supervision of a managing broker like me. So they make sure they want to make sure that the, a licensee or a realtor 
is already supervised. And then if anything happens, if, if, if there is any mistake or any problem with the realtor, the act of the realtor, then the managing broker also will be responsible for the act of the realtor. So for that reason, realtors are not allowed to work on their own. They have to join a real estate company by, by the time that they want to apply for the license. Now, very quickly, I'm gonna give you um, a preview of what you need to do. Register at the UBC online courses, submit 20 multiple uh, choice assignments. That's easy, uh, the easiest part. And then satisfy English language proficiency test, register for the exam, and then get a criminal, criminal record check, then join a brokerage, get the up, uh, register for applied courses, pass number one, number two, and then part part two, and then once you if you you are nineteen years old and above, then you can become a, you receive your license, and then you can take the rest of the applied courses. Okay, now registration. As I mentioned, you register with UBC Southern School. You have to pay one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. It's not really much. Um, compared to the commission that you, you will earn in future, so then you will have the option of online and in-person courses. Now, when I got my license a long time ago, um, there were in-person courses until, uh, until COVID. Then since COVID, everything changed into um, online. Now over Zoom, there are a ton of over Zoom meetings and recorded meetings that you can um, take advantage of. Now, once you register for the course, that you will be provided with a portal uh, username and password. So through the username and password, you become a student of Southern School uh, for licensing, and then you will have access to ebook and all the content, all the material uh, in an electronic or uh, digital format. You will have access to the website. You will have um, tutor service. You can call the real estate. Um, you can call Southern School, the real estate department. You can email them. You will have live Zoom, you will have workshops, and then you will have access to a ton of videos and audio lectures, and all of them are useful. Now, if you want to have the book, now this is the book. It's quite bulky. <laughs> it's daunting. But then not all of it uh, is the content. I mean, part of it is um, just the references, so don't worry about that. If you want to have uh, the hardcover, then you have to pay $200 extra, or you can uh, shop around and then see if you can buy it somewhere on Facebook Marketplace for, I don't know, 20 bucks, 50 bucks. And then also you need to have a financial calculator. Now, financial calculator, the app also is available, but then at, at the exam, you're not allowed to use the app. So get the app, use it during the, uh, during the assignments and then preparing yourself for the exam. Now, the, this book contains 26 chapters. There are 20 assignments. And then BCFSA does not allow anyone to, um, to expedite the process, to send them, uh, all the assignments right away, because they know that the answer to all the assignments are available, readily available. You just um, Google it, and you will find the answer to all the assignments. And it's, as I said, it's easy. You can, you can get the answers and submit the assignments and pass, the, pass all the 20 assignments. But what is important, extremely important is that you have to learn all the assignments, learn and then memorize them, even memorize them by heart. And because some of the exam questions will be exactly replicate of the questions of the assignments. Now you have, you have a limitation here. Every week you can post only two assignments. Now, means that it takes minimum 10 weeks and you have only one year to complete, one year to complete. So you have, once you register, you submit the, um, you have to start submitting the assignments right away. Now, assume that you have submitted all the assignments. And assume that you're like me, 
if you're Persian, you don't speak English, <laughs> you're not born in Canada, and then you don't, you have, you have never attended any Canadian uh, colleges, universities, of course, it has to be, if you, um, it has, you have to have a degree of either bachelor degree or master's degree PhD in Canadian or English language and speaking uh, university. If you do not do those, then you have to apply for a self -pip. You have to take, write the exam, self pip exam, which is, and then don't forget, just apply for the general test. The fee is $280. And then the passing score is seven out of 12 or even higher for four skills. The skills are listening, speaking, reading, and writing. For four of them, you have to get seven out of 12. Now, good news, excellent news. All I see that whoever has taken the, the exam, their English is mediocre. So that it means that getting seven out of 12 is not really hard. Don't be scared of the exam. And then another good news is you can write the exam as many times as you want. The only problem is you have to, every time you have to pay $280. That's the good news. Now, um, I recommend you, you write the exam for English test as soon as possible. Prepare yourself and then write the exam. Just take it out of your way and focus on the real estate licensing. Do not delay this exam until the last minute and say, oh, now what I do? Because the moment you start writing the assignments, submitting the assignments, reading, and then you want to take the exam for licensing right after. But if you do not have the result for your English language um, proficiency, then you're not allowed. You will not be allowed to register for the exam. So please make sure that you take care of this uh, English test way before uh, submitting all the assignments or during submitting the assignments because. You want to have take the exam, the licensing with fresh memory. Now, next step is now you have to write the exam for real estate trading services. You want to uh, know uh, when you want to write the exam. You can book it online. With the registration fee that you've paid, you are allowed to write one-time exam for free, which is included, not for free, it's included, but on a specific date. Now, if you do not want to limit yourself to that specific date, then you have the freedom of choice, then you can choose any date that you want, you pay extra 100 or 120, that is the amount that you have to pay. So book your exam, then your exam contains 100 multiple choice questions. All the, all the multiple choice questions are uh, confusing questions. Now, the, the, the question is easy, but then the, the wording is difficult. It just does not make sense. Why do you make the, the questions so difficult to understand and then to realize, okay, what is this question asking? They, they tend to uh, confuse you. It takes three hours. And the passing grade is 70%. And the bad news is if you fail first time, you have to wait three months to apply for the second time. The worst news is if you fail for the second time, then you have to re-register. You have to you start again from the beginning. That's that's bad. So for that reason, I highly recommend that you make sure that you're fully prepared when you go and write the exam. Now, some people asked about the private tutoring, private uh, courses that are offered. There are a ton of them on the market. I personally never took any of those courses, but I leave it to you. That's personal choice. Whatever you think will help you, do it. Get your license um, faster. Now, congratulations, you passed the exam. And then you have received an email from Southern School, that congratulatory email that now this is the portal, you have to apply for your practice course. Now, again, you have one year, you have one full year since you received the, um, the exam report and then the passing grade 
until you apply for the practice courses. But again, why do you want to delay it? You, you work so hard, it's better that you push it forward. Do we get your license as soon as possible? So again, you have to apply. Now, I tell you, I share with you a story. A gentleman who just joined our company, he came last week and he just passed the exam. He told me that he's, he's thinking of applying for the practice, um, the, uh, practice course because he thought that, okay, there are plenty of uh, available rooms or seats for, for him. Unfortunately, when he, when he registered, he realized that he had to wait until June, I guess, June 10th, sometime by then. So if, if you've written your exam, if you pass the exam right away, apply for your practice course because there could be a delay in between. And the fee is $875. You will have an option of either go with residential or commercial. So if you go with residential, it doesn't mean that you're not allowed to sell commercial properties. You can sell commercial as well. But your specialization will be residential. If you go with commercial, it doesn't mean that you're not allowed to sell residential properties, your sister's home or your father's or your friends. You can. You can. You can definitely switch. But then... Uh, See which one you prefer and which one you want to specialize in. Uh, there's something that I want to add here, Shirin John. Uh, if you, for example, go for residential, there are some supplementary courses in the future that you can attend and you can pass those courses and, you know, get the requirement and qualification of, you know, uh, being active in the commercial uh, market as well. Thank you. Um, and I should mention that some of, some brokerages do not want um, a specific realtor like who does residential be involved in commercial transactions. They do not allow um, to do both type of transactions. At my company, I encourage everyone to do and I support them to do commercial or residential transactions. So there are four components, component one and component two. Now imagine that you, you've passed the exam, now you have applied for your practice course. Now you're searching for a real estate company, a brokerage to join, and then you want to start, you start your component one. This is the time that you have to um, do a thorough research on what company you want to join. And then we will talk about the features that you have to think about, consider when selecting a company to be part of. The component one, is a two week online group activities and quizzes and discussions. And this is extremely important that you have to be active in the, in the online course. And then they are very adamant about, or, um, about the participation of individuals and they keep a record of. If they realize that you do not participate enough, then they may fail you. And then you have to pay extra hundred dollars and then you have to go back again, roll back again. So just, just make sure that you, you are active on uh, component one, on all the components. Component two, again, it's a two-day intensive online case studies. Now, at AD West Realty, the moment that the agent, brand new agent, of course, joins the company, and then the moment they start component one or two, then we will have Zoom meetings. And over Zoom, we go over everything just to make sure that our realtors will not fail any of the assignments. So you got, you passed component one and component two, you are eligible to apply for your temporary, temporary license. Then the next would be your, uh, uh, component three and four. Then for component three, it takes four and a half months. It's a uh, field assignment. I mean, it's self-paced. Like if you want to list a property, if you want to sell a property, and then if you have a buyer, so, and then because you do have your temporary license, and then you are going to be actively working as a realtor now, this time you have to work under the supervision of your managing broker. Managing brokers are usually busy. They don't have time. I'm, not, I'm never busy for you guys. If you have, to, um, you have any assignments, I will be more than happy to help you at every stage to make sure that you learn how to uh, deal with every assignment, how to 
um, every situation that is included in the assignments. Then the last one would be virtual classroom, only one day from nine to five, nine to four, I guess, a virtual classroom session, then it will be a review of the whole course. Now, um, once the, you pass the component three and four, then you will have, uh, your license will be automatically updated to, upgraded to permanent license. So remember, I told you that you can apply or you should apply actually. Once you pass component one and two, then you should apply for temporary license. Why? Because component three and four requires you to work as a licensee. Now, you have to achieve minimum of 70% of all the assignments and quizzes that, again, it's easy, super easy. And then you have to join a brokerage, you have to choose a brokerage, you have to obtain your criminal record check, and then finish component one and two again in order to get your temporary license. And then you have to one year to apply, of course, as I mentioned, since you write the exam, you have one year until you can uh, you want to apply for ten, uh, component one and two. And then permanent license will be issued once you, as soon as you finish component three and four. Now let's look at the numbers and see how much you have to pay at the end of uh, the day when you get your license. Altogether, it's not bad, honestly. $5,314 is not bad in order to get your license. Now, the minimum, minimum commission of uh, sale of a condo, I would say, a condo of $500,000 would be about um, $8,500, $8,000 plus, unless you're, you're selling a property listed by 1% realty, then it will be $5,000. No, no, it actually, they, one person they split into half of 2500 so compared to the commissions earned in future 5300 is not much but is this the only uh, fee that you have to pay no you have to pay other fees as well um now i want to tell a little bit about who we are um and then what we do, these are a few of our agents that we, we put the, the photos, beautiful photos here. So AD West was founded by me in 2015 in West Vancouver. We do have two licenses. We do sales. We are active in sales and property manager management as well. We are very strong in both fields. Both fields are very strong. We actually, we're expanding in both fields. Um, I'm the only owner. And the managing broker as well, we are about 63 as of a couple of days ago, I asked. And then licenses and staff. Um, our main office is in North Vancouver, right across Mercedes Benz. And we do have another office in Coquitlam, which is temporarily closed. Saki and I, Saki is one of my agents. So we are planning to reopen it by fall. Um, I'm so proud to say that we have uh, developed an excellent reputation of the agents of integrity and customer satisfaction fanatics. We are um, so focused on providing an excellent, extraordinary service to our clients uh, that everybody talks, everybody in our community, especially in the community of Iranians, they talk about our services. Now, as the managing broker and owner of the company, I consider realtors as well, or licensees in general, as the company's customers and clients. So you can imagine with that kind of mindset, what kind of service I, we provide to our licensees, to our um, realtors and property managers. And I strongly believe that the growth of a company or the success of a company depends on success of individuals who work in that company. So I would do whatever it takes in order to make my realtors successful. And then so we can share the success together. Now I'm going to leave the rest to Hossein. 
Thank you so very much, uh, Shirinjan, uh, for great presentation. I hope uh, everyone has a good grasp of you know what's going on and what will happen if from the very uh, starting points to getting their license and joining a brokerage. And uh, I just want to quickly review uh, why Indian West Realty could be a very great starting point for you to be a successful realtor and uh, building a great business around your real estate license. Um, as soon as you pass the exam and join ADA West Realty, uh, we will have two months groundwork coaching. It's it's uh, in person mostly, uh, sometimes one by one, depends. A uh, coaching session that Shirin will take care of all the process and all the you know planning that you really need to establish yourself as a successful realtor from how to find your niche, how to plan ahead, how to do the marketing and how to use the tools and all the things that you really need in order to succeed in real estate business. Also, Shirin would provide you support and mentorships throughout your journey. Educational and informational public webinar, just like this one that you have attended today. We will have lots of you know, webinars and seminars in order to help you to uh, stay at the top of the real estate uh, business. We will have a regular office meetings and uh, each, each uh, Wednesday we will gather around usually from the Zoom is, and uh, Shirin will be, be provide us you know, some, some of the latest news and updates about the real estate. Also, we will change ideas about what's happening when uh, we will share experiences during the past week. We will have lunch and learn program in our brokerage. We usually invite professionals like lawyers, mortgage brokers, from the real estate board, from you know other firms to uh, come and you know provide some kind of um, information and updates about the real estate market. Also, you can gain some you know um, you can it really helps you to just um, uh, just. Uh, your real estate license to be for the next year as well. Uh, we will have social events and uh, also we really, really value teamwork and culture uh, when it comes to integrity and you know staying stand by you know um, each other. And uh, next, Shirin John, please. Next slide, please. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Also, um, if you really want to succeed in real estate, there are some tools that you really, really need. It's a paid service that our brokerage has already signed up. And uh, there are two major categories here. KB Core is our CRM. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. It provides you lead generation tools, especially when it comes to online lead generation tools. Also, it gives you a, a professional website. And also it gives you tools to stay in touch with your clients and manage them. You know, just imagine that you want to deal with, you would start with one, definitely. But as times goes by, you will have to uh, manage a lot of clients at the same time. For example, one wants to buy a property in Burnaby. One, one is looking forward to buying a business. And you have to have a tool that helps you manage all these transactions and, you know, throughout their journey. And uh, we also have SkySlope. It's a document management system. For every transaction, you have to track and you have to uh, fill out forms and you know, send them, for example, for the clients to uh, get them, sign them, and you know, upload the necessary documents. You will learn them a lot about these uh, documents when you are passing the exam and during the applied course. We all do it uh, automatically and online. So um, you usually you do not even even walk into the, our brokerage for, for 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 example submitting your document or everything is online and automatic and it's very easy to use. Next, please. Okay. Uh, uh, Hussein, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna carry on the rest. Uh, as Hussein mentioned about. Um, what we offer at ADA West, uh, what is again, I'm proud of is we stand by our principles and we stand by ethics. Uh, and then that's what we are 
we have been branded in, um, in the industry as the agents of integrity. And actually, because I strongly believe in integrity and having the vision or being visionary, I put it from day one and started the company, I put a big, large font on the wall. So every day, every moment I look up, I see these words and it reminds me and reminds my team that, hey, you want to you want to be, you want to work, offer an excellent, extraordinary service to the clients. You have to be mindful of integrity. And then integrity means believe in what you do and what you say, and then believe in customer service, excellent customer service, make everybody happy, make them so happy that they would become your advocates and they become your lifetime clients. That's one thing. And another thing is being visionary. Now, you've chosen, if you've chosen to become a realtor, meaning that you're thinking, you're thinking of, of course, uh, a new career, where you, where the skies is your limit, honestly, as much as time and effort uh, you put in the, into this business, then uh, it depends what kind of market you're going to choose. You can make zero dollars or you can make thousands of dollars. You can make hundred thousands of dollars per year if you're talking about per year. So it all depends to you. If you if you get your license, you will have the opportunities, amazing, amazing opportunity uh, to make yourself filthy rich. Now, of course you need a, the right mentor. Of course you need the right coach. Of course you need somebody who would constantly help you, support you. Of course you need, these are extremely important that you have to consider once you get your license, find the right fit for yourself and then join and then focus on your goals and make sure that you reach your goals. Now, I highly recommend you, if you're decide, you've decided to get your license, schedule appointment with us and then participate in our coaching sessions. Our coaching sessions are on Sundays, in the morning on Sunday, sometimes today we started at 10 because of the webinar tonight, but you, typically we start at 11 and it takes only one and a half hours. Now I tell you, I share with you the story of one of my most successful agents. She is the rookie of the year. It's only, I believe seven months ago, she became a realtor. Now she joined the company. She attended our coaching sessions even before writing for exam two months before writing for exam. She attended, diligently attended our coaching sessions. And during the coaching session, my job as the leader of the company is to delve into your interests and then see what is it that you can flourish and excel in that and then pick up, pick that on, on you and then make sure that you will succeed by doing that specific, sticking to that specific part of real estate. I did the same thing with this lady. Her name is Mary. Um, she decided to work to become the pre-sale specialist. And then she dedicated herself. And then she wrote the exam. She attended the our coaching session two months prior writing the exam. And then she wrote the exam. She was with us. And then when she, she, she got her license, she was already ready. She had everything ready. Business cards ready, websites ready content, marketing content ready, everything. She knew exactly what destination she wants to move forward. She had everything ready. So she did not waste any time. That's the reason after six months this year, she's going to be the rookie of the year. And then she's making money, lots of money. And I do have other agents not so successful that um, not coachable or they are still, they do have other jobs. They want to do it part-time. They, they want to um, allocate maybe five or 10 hours per, per week, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. If you want to do it as a part-time job, it's not going to work. Yes, maybe once in a while you sell your dad's home, you sell your sister's property or here and there, your friend's close friend. But if you want to become a successful realtor, if you want to stand above the average, not an not a average mediocre realtor, an excellent realtor, then you have to have your 100% full focus, full attention on your career on real estate. Don't forget, book an appointment with us and then and participate in our coaching sessions. No, no money is required, no fee is required, no commitment is required. 
I will be more than happy, more than happy to share my knowledge, to share my experience, to tell you what mistakes I made so you will not make those mistakes, to tell you what success stories I have so you will just use them in order to become successful. I will be more than happy to share with you. I will be more than happy to help you. Disregard of whether you join ADA West or not, my, uh, my job or my, this is what I really enjoy. My job is to teach as many people as I can, to help as many people as I can. And I do it genuinely. I love to see everyone successful, especially in real estate. So I think now we have to allocate time to questions. We'll be more than happy to answer all the questions. Then with all respect to our non-English uh, speaking crowd, uh, we will allocate the last 15 minutes and then we, uh, to Farsi and then we switch into Farsi. So I would highly recommend Odile and anybody else, if you have your questions, please text them or put them in the chat. Thank you guys uh, for uh, attending this webinar so far. And uh, please, uh, those who speak English, could you please uh, type your questions so we can uh, respond to them promptly. And uh, in a couple of minutes, we will switch to Farsi for those who want to uh, bring up any discussions, questions. We will wait for a few more minutes in case, just to make sure. <laughs> okay, Kif uh, has asked, uh, could you please uh, email those slides for us? I mean, the presentation. Sure, yes, will do. And uh, some of them just say thank you and we thank you again as well. Okay, perfect. Uh, you can find our email address uh, also on our website or on our Instagram, you can reach out. If you have any questions, we would be more than happy to respond. Hussein, I guess I uh, see there is a one... question. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a question from Mohammad Reza. And it's without having knowledge of materials used in the building, would it be possible to convince the customers? Uh, Shirin-Jan? Well, our approach is not to convince customers or clients. Our approach is to educate them. And then they will um, see if they want to proceed with the purchase or not. That's one aspect. That's one mindset that we have to constantly keep in mind that the, we are not in the business of convincing someone. The second part is, obviously we are not building or construction experts. Our knowledge and expertise is limited. So it's totally fine. We ask them that you have to get a second opinion about the construction, about the material used or about what we can do. We can also, if they do have any question or if there is any gray area that we do not know, we can pass it on to those people who specialize in construction and not just construction. There are many other fields that you, once you get your license, people will ask you accounting questions, tax questions, building questions, zoning questions. Oh my God, you just name it. Sometimes family questions, they ask you so many questions. And then you have to refer them to the specialist. It doesn't mean that it hurts if you do have the knowledge, no. Those whose background is civil engineering, construction, or they do have construction company, they, are, they have hands-on renovation like Jose. Of course, these people, they have you know, this um, hands-on or, uh, or that's the competitive advantage over me who do not have any um, experience in construction. It's always good, always useful to have some information about the product that we sell. If you don't know, totally fine. Ask from the expert. Uh, thank you, Shirin. And there's one thing that I want to add. Uh, as a realtor, as Shirin uh, correctly mentioned, we are not uh, building experts. 
but there are some complementary courses that real estate board of vancouver uh provides us and uh for example the name of the course by far i can't remember is something like know your product so as a realtor it gives us a general information about the building structures and what is really needed for a realtor at the level of a realtor to to know and present to the cost clients so uh, please don't worry about it even for example for a person that just like me comes from iran with a background in civil engineering i can say that the whole here in canada the story of build, uh, buildings is quite different for example in iran we do not have wooden structure buildings or you know um the, the wall and you know the structure is quite different so don't worry about this part you will get everything that you need okay um i guess i want to switch into farsi rishab i see i'm just browsing the names rishab thank you so much for attending tonight uh with uh your permission i'm gonna switch into farsi i guess odila's left already yes thank you again rishab don't forget to call me if um and then join our coaching sessions we would love to work with you یه خورده فارسی حرف بزنه هر سوالی دارین با کمال میل در خدمتون هستیم محمد رضا بله از... خب سوال, سوال کردن که محمد رضا فارسی حرف نمیزنید اگر اشتباه نکنم حالا چون زحمت کشید انگلیسی تایپ کردید ما دیگه سویچ کردیم به فارسی بهتون جواب میدیم گفتن که اه... میگن که بهتره که به این جاب ریالتری به عنوان سکن جاب نگاه کنیم چون ممکنه در ابتدا ما این کام لازم رو نداشتیم و بعد سویچ کنیم به فول تایم نظر شما تو این زمینه چیه؟ من فکر من وسط صحبت هم یه توضیح دادم به نظر من بستگی داری که شما در چه حدی بخواین فعالیت بکنید اگر که انتظارتون از این وارد شدن توی ریال استیت اندستری ریال استیت این هست که هر سه ماه یه بار، چهار ماه یه بار، شش ماه یه بار یه پراپرتی بفروشین اوکی خب حالا به صورت پارتایم کار بکنید طبیعیه دیگه وقتی که وقتتون رو پارتایم میذارید نه فرصت این رو میکنید خوب مارکت رو اطلاعات مارکت رو جمع آوری بکنید بخونید یاد بگیرید نه فرصت کافی دارید با مردم مشتری ها صحبت بکنید و توجه داشته باشید که تعداد ریالتور کم نیست تو این دنیای رقابتی اگر بخواید با یه مشتری مرتب فالاب نکنید خب مشتری با یکی دیگه میره که خیلی مرتب داره فالاب میکنه خب حالا پارت تایم میخوان کار بکنید پارت تایم بعضی وقتا یک سوم تایم یعنی هفت تایم هم نمیشه یک سوم تایم چون یه فول تایم جاب یه دیگه دارین و فکر میکنین که از اونجا میخواین پول در بیارین و این یکی رو ازش قافل میشین من به طور کلی با توجه به اینکه توی کمپانیمون داریم همین الان داریم ایجنتایی که حساب دارن اصلا شغلای مختلف دارن ولی خیلی کم محدود کار میکنن در مقایسه با کسایی که تمام وقت اومدن ریالتور شدن اونایی که تمام وقت ریالتور شدن 100 درصد موفق تر بودن طبیعی هم هست یه سوالی که فکر کنم خودتون هم جوابش میدونستید به حال من تجربه خودم رو بگم اولش واقعا میگم تو 5 6 ماه اول درآمد انسان به اون سرعت شاید نباشه دو تا کار دو تا اپروچ میشه داشت اینجا یعنی که شما سیوینگ لازم رو داشته باشید برای به عنوان مثلا 6 ماهتون که شما بتونید که فول تایم فعالیت بکنه و تمام وقت انرژیتون بذارید ولی خب واقعا هم بخوایم پرکتیکال نگاه کنیم میشه به عنوان سکند جاب بهش نگاه کرد توی روز شما 9 تو 5 بتونه داشته باشید فور دی رست اف دی یو دیدیکیت یور سلف به این کار و قطعا از سون از استارت یو نو پول جمع بکنید اصلا می کنم کامیشنتون رو می سازید درآمد کسب می کنید شما میتونید اون حجم فعالیتاتون رو تنظیم کنید به سمتی که درآمد بیشتری داره امیدوارم که جواب سوالتون رو گرفته باشید تو این زمینه علی جان پرسیدن که یه نفر که با بک‌گراند معماری اینتریور دیزاین و 3D دیزاین میاد آیا میتونه یک مزیتی رو داشته باشه توی ریالتر شدن تو این زمینه اگر میشه نظر رو نظرتون رو بدید آیا به عنوان مثلا میشه اورلپ کرد این مهارت ها رو با هم دیگه 100 درصد خیلی خوبه بچه‌هایی که ما توی کمپانیمون فکر می‌کنم اینکلودینگ حسین یه 
یه سوم شدم بیشتر علیه نصفشون مهندس هستن همشون انجینیر هستن و به خصوص کسایی که سیویل خوندن یا شما اینتریور دیزاینر هستن اینتریور دیزاینر ها خیلی خوب بهتر میتونن سرویس بدن به مشتری وقتی که یه ملکی رو میرن نشون میدن به راحتی میتونن به تصویر بکشن اون تصویر رو بیارن رو کاغذ هستن بیارن به مشتری نشون بدن که چطور میشه یه ملک رو تغییر داد چه تغییراتی میتونین بدین و من همیشه دیدم کسایی که این نالج رو دارن اطلاعات بیشتر من مردم هم دوست دارم باشون کار بکنن و یک یک مزیت رقابتی برای شما خواهد بود حتما نگهش دارید این رو و حتما هم بیشتر و بیشتر روش کار بکنید و این مهارتی که دارید چون خیلی به کمکتون میاد خیلی تو تکمیل صحبت ها شیرین جون ببینید توی ریال استیت شما مشتریاتون از طیف مختلفی هستن بعضی افراد سرمایه گذار هستن بعضی ها برای خرید و سکونت میگذارن توی دسته سرمایه گذاران به ویژه یه دسته ای رو ما داریم دنبال کسانی هستن که اصطلاح بهش میگن فیکسر آپر دنبال ملک هایی میگردن که میخوان اینو تعمیرش بکنن باستازیش بکنن و بفروشنش تو ما اگه این مهارت رو به عنوان مثال داشته باشید که بتونید خونه هایی رو که توی مارکت ارزش شدن با قیمت مناسب با مهارت ریالتوریتون پیدا بکنید در این حال یک آفر و یا پکیجی رو بدید که بگید این بیفورش این افترش است من به عنوان اینتریور دیزاینر بله میتونم این کار رو انجام بدم ادیشنالی این ویژن رو دارم اصلا شما اگر ذهنتون توی این قضیه حتما قوی باشه که هست شما میتونید بلافاصله وارد یک خونه که میشید پلانش رو که ببینید اون اصلا چیزی که توی آینده میخواد بشه رو تصور بکنید درست بکنید توی ذهنتون و بگید اصلا این پراپرتی به درد این کار میخوره یا نه برای همین خود من فکر می کنم جای پیشرفت برای شما زیاد است اگر هم بکراند معماری دارید نمیدونم حالا این به صورت آکادمیک دارید یا نه به صورت تجربی اینتریور دیزاین رو انتخاب کرد اگر آرشیتکت باشید فرصت های دیگه مثل لندس امبلی برای شما هست شما اگر علاقه داشته باشید از بکراند معماری بیاد میتونید برید توی قوانین شهرداری قوانین بسیار مفصلی دارن که میتونید از اون نالج استفاده کنید توی لندسن بلی که بسیار هم تخصص سوداوری هست به این صورته که برمان مثلا سه, سه تا زمین چهار تا زمین رو شما همزمان میفروشید به دیولاپر ها رقم بسیار بالای ترانزکشنتون خواهد بود مشخص دادن کامیشن بسیار بالای خواهد بود منطقه نیاز به اطلاعات معماری شهرسازی داره هر چقدر که شما توی این زمین موفق تر باشید یا بکراندتون توی این زمین قوی تر باشه میتونید کاملا استند اوت کنید فرام دی کمپتیشن و افراد امیدوارم که جواب سوالتون رو گرفته باشه توی این زمینه تا حدی سوال دیگه اگر دوستان دارن یا قسمتی رو متوجه نشدن توی طول ارائه حالا به زبان انگلیسی بود میتونن توی چت باکس تایپ بکنن ما همچنان در خدمتتون هستیم فکر میکنم حدود 6 7 دقیقه وقت داریم تا ساعت 7 و یه مطلب دیگه هم خدمتتون بگم که ما سعی میکنیم که یک ایمیلی رو بعدا بهتون ارسال بکنیم هم لینک رو براتون میگذاریم هم راه های تماس رو براتون میگذاریم اگر سوالی داشتید میدونم یه خورده این اگر به خصوص دفعه اولتون هست که با زمینه گرفتن لایسنس در این مسیرش رو اومدید یه مدام ممکنه گیج کننده براتون باشه ولی کاملا فیل فری که احساس راحتی کنید که با ما تماس بگیرید چه از طریق ایمیل چه تلفن چه مستقیما با شیرین خانم تماس بگیرید حتما پاسخگوی سوالات شما هستیم ریکوایرمنت ها یه مطلبی رو حالا اگر سوال نکردید من اینجا خودم اضافه بکنم ما بحث ریال استیت لایسنس رو کردیم یه مروری کردیم خود لایسنس و کاستش رو یک سری کاست های شما هم دارید که این آن گوینگ بیسس هست یک سری یک کاست خیلی مهم که حتما هم میتونید در نظرش بگیرید اینه که وقتی که به هر بروکرج شما جوین میکنید اینها ترکیب های مختلفی از کامیشن اسپلیت ما بهش میگیم و مانسلی فی های متفاوتی دارن ممکنه شما به عنوان من حالا اسم نمیاد برکرج یک برکرج ممکنه شما رو ماهی هزار دلار شارژ بکنه در ازای خدماتی که میده و بعد یک درصدی هم از کامیشن شما بسازه فرض کنید که شما یک پراپرتی رو میفروشید و کامیشن این میشه ده هزار دلار بسته به اون پلنی که هر بروکرج هم که میرید چند تا پلن ممکنه پلن A B رو در اختیار شما قرار بدن و معمولا هم دارن دو تا تا سه تا پلن رو به شما ارائه میدن میگن که اگر به عنوان مثال کامیشن شما 10 20 باشه عذرخواهی میکنم 20 درصد به 80 درصد باشه یعنی از 10000 دلار رو 
2000 دلارش رو کمپانی برمی داره 8000 دلارش رو به شما میده ماسیفی ما اینقدر خواهد بود یا اگر کامیشن اسپلیت شما 10 درصد باشه 5 درصد باشه ماسیفی شما اینقدر خواهد بود یا ادیشنال سرویس هایی رو که در اختیار شما قرار میدن و ممکنه هزینه های اضافه‌ای رو از شما بگیرن اینو در نظر یکی از فاکتور هست که نیو ایجنت ها خیلی در نظر میگیرن میگن که اوکی ما به یک بروکریج باید منحق باشیم که ترکیبی از سرویس ها و قیمت مناسب رو داشته باشه که تو این زمینه ایده ادوستریتی خیلی رقابتی در این حالی که سعی کرده که سرویس هاش رو از ماکسیمم لول قرار بده همچنان سعی میکنه که مانسیفی ها رو برای نیو ایجنت ها پایین نگه داره و خب این میتونه یه مزیت رقابتی باشه حتما تو این زمینه با ما تماس بگیرید اگر میخواد که جزیاتش رو بیشتر بدونید و یه مسئله دیگه هم دارین که شما به عنوان ریلتر ناچار خواهید بود سونر و لیت خودتون رو مارکت بکنید و مارکتینگ کاست داره و این هم جز هزینه هست که باید در نظر بگیرید برای که بتونید توی ریال استیت موفق باشید به عنوان مثال پرینت کارتتون هست ادورت... آنلین ادورتایزمنتتون هست ساین لازم دارید یک سری نمیگم هیدن کاسته کاستش هم تقریبا میشه گفت قابل محاسبه است بسته به این داره که چقدر شما میتونید جلو برید البته این کاسته میتونه همزمان باشه با د... کسب درآمد شما به عنوان یک نیو ایجنت که حالا بحث ما هست واقعا لزومی نداره که شما ماهانه به عنوان مثلا 1000 دلار خرج مارکتینگ میتون کنید یا 2000 دلار خرج مارکتینگ میتون کنید بیشتر توی سال اول به عنوان ریال استیت شات ایجنت همین فری تولزی که شما استفاده می کنید سوشال میدیا شما بهترین ابزار شما خواهد بود یا چند تا کارت بیزنس شما و یه پید ادورتایزمنت که خیلی ساده که واقعا هزینه هاش قابل منیجبل هست و بیشتر لرن کردن شما هست نتورکینگ شما خیلی مهم هست توی این ریال استیت بتونید با ریال ترهای دیگه با موگج بروکر ها با لایر ها با کسانی که اتفاقا ایدیت وستریالتی خیلی نتورکینگ مناسبی رو در بافای دیگه میتونه شما رو معرفی بکنه این هم باز بحث هزینه های جانبی هست که ممکنه سوای ریال استیت لایسنسینگ شما لازم باشه باز اگه سوالی دارید رو خوشحال میشم که حالا توی چت باکس تایپ کنید یا اگه شیرین پرنت مطلبی رو میخوان اضافه کنم ممنون میشم خیلی ممنون مرسی حسین جان تقریبا خیلی چیزایی که ما گفته بودیم شما هم باز مطرح کردین به خصوص از دیدگاه از نقطه نظر یک ریلتور مطرح کردیم و خب خیلی خوبه من از نقطه نظر یک منیجینگ بروکر میگم مسائل رو و بزنس شما فکر میکنم که این صحبت ها خیلی لازمه بچه ها کسایی که لایسنس میگیرید حتما با ریالتور های مختلف صحبت بکنید ببینید که چه سرویس هایی میگیرن و چه کار میکنن که در واقع این بتونه موفق ترشون بکنه اون چیزی که مهمه شما راهنمایی درست داشته باشید کسی که شما رو ساپورت بکنه حمایت بکنه و بتونید که در این کریری که انتخاب کردی کریر جدیدتون صد درصد موفق باشید من فکر میکنم که تقریبا بله شدیم پنجا و هشت دیگه خداحافظی رو میتونیم بکنیم بازم خیلی ممنون از این که امشب با ما بودی من بین این اسما دوست عزیزم هم میبینم دو تاشون رو البته دارم میبینم خیلی خوشحالم که مدت ها ازتون خبر نداشتم <تصفيق> خوشحالم اینجا اینه امیدوارم که بخواییم ریالتور بشین و بعدم حتما بیا با با من و آره دیگه داره تو چرتم بیاد مسیج شما با, با خود ما همکاری بکنید خیلی لذت بخش همکاری با عزیزانی که لایک like مایندد هستن یه جور فکر میکنیم از یه تیپ فکری همه با اخلاق و مشتری مدار خب مرسی از شما اگه سوال نیست عصر خوبی داشته باشید بازم ممنون از این که توی وبینار ما شرکت کردید منتظر ایمیل ما باشید حتما با آتون سعی میکنیم فالو آپ بکنیم و جزیات بیشتری رو وان بای وان چه تلفن چه ایمیل با آتون در اختیار بذاریم شب همگی بخیر و شادی